hey guys welcome back to my channel so for today we have a soft glam so this is the look i created using the kkw x mario line i hope you guys all enjoy this video and let's get right into it for today's guide we're going to be using the kkw x mario palette um and we're also going to be using the whole actually line thanks to my best friend for getting me this for christmas so a bit can we get a thumbs up for the packaging of this like look at it oh my god and let me show you the guys the inside oh my god lip liner this is the lip liner love the packaging oh my god this is like a dark nude um and then we have a gloss then we have the lipstick wow and then lastly we have the blush I'm going to be using this color which is don't move right over here we're just gonna apply that to the um, crease and this is basically gonna be my transition shade um, I'm not going to be using shimmers for this look because I really want it to be a soft glam. Yeah. So next guys, we're going to be going in with the shade Glam King, which is this shade right over here. For this one, we're just going to aim it a little bit lower. And just like look up. I'm so excited for this look. I've been dying to do this look so bad. And I've been so lazy, guys. Let me just tell you, I've been lazy, but like low-key working on some stuff. And I'm very excited to show you guys, but um, I'm so excited to be working on my own brand, which is coming very soon. Um, and that's what I've been working on. Um, I'm trying to really be consistent here and post as much as I can. Um, but I have something really good for you guys, very juicy. Um, and it's always been a dream of mine to actually own something and also like work on other than like having a job and stuff, but working on my own company, like something that, you know, it's mine. <laughs> Um, so that's very exciting. So 2020 has come in with a lot of great opportunities for me. Alright guys, so this is what the look looks like so far. Next up, I'm going to be using the shade I'm Inspired, which is a cocoa kind of color and it's much more darker. So this, for this shade, I'm actually going to be taking this e.l.f. crease brush. This is what it looks like. This is by e.l.f. And I'm just going to focus that color really, really low. And let's just look at our picture again to just reference it. And just going to dig that in. Building that color. And just dragging it a little bit into the... Okay, so this is how so far it looks. <laughs> Snatch period look. We're gonna be taking this color, which is a so many paparazzi, which is this white tone shade, and this is gonna be our color for the lid. And I'm gonna be taking it really far up here into my inner corner, and we're just gonna pack that on that to the other lid. So I went ahead and put on some eyeliner and I kind of smoked it up and then I put on the lashes by Lily Lashes and they're in the style Miami. So for primer, I'm going to be using this photo finish, which is one of my faves. So we're going to go ahead and just distribute it all over the face. Skin, it has been acting up. I don't know what's triggering my um, skin right now. 
Um, it definitely looks hormonal. Um, it's not breakouts or anything, but I have a lot of redness, which I'm trying to, um, you know, get rid of and stuff. So if you guys have any suggestions for like redness of the skin, please holla at your girl because we're going to go in and I'm going to be using the Giorgio Armani Silk, um, Silk Foundation and I am in the shade 9. Yeah. Um, all over the face and this foundation is a little bit tanner than what I look like right now currently it's currently winter where I live so I'm a little bit pale but I love how this foundation looks so good on the skin it looks so silky um, and it just looks so beautiful on the skin um, it's definitely medium full coverage it's not full coverage but you can build it up to your liking And for the forehead, I don't really wear that much foundation on my forehead. I just take whatever was left over from my whole entire face and distribute it. Oh, with beauty blenders, to be honest, because this foundation, when I try to um, distribute it with my, well, I'm using the Morphe M. 439 brush everyone needs this brush totally this is like the perfect kapuki brush but yeah certain foundations don't blend out nicely with beauty blenders um i don't know if it's because the beauty blender is wet so it being wet kind of lifts off the foundation from your skin so that's why for this foundation and for the hourglass foundation i kind of like to use a brush to distribute it um because it applies to the skin better or nicer um but there are certain foundations that look nice with a beauty blender and not with a brush um yeah and this foundation looks so cute on the skin guys i love it so I apply it and then buff it out with this morphe Brush. Go ahead and swing that out. Concealer today. I'm gonna be using the Jouer concealer in the shade Honey, and then I'm gonna be using this concealer um, that I got in my latest Boxy Charm, um, which is pre pretty vulgar. I think that's how you pronounce it. Vulgar. Um, in the bottom is the first concealer shade and just really gonna focus it right over here and so I'm trying to not mess up the eye look so I'm just gonna go just sharply now I'm gonna use it on this side oh god Oh my god, guys, I really want to get eye fillers. Like, I've been thinking about getting eye fillers for a really, really long time. And that is because... Hold on, I can't talk while doing this. Um, that is because my under eyes um, have, like, they have their days. But um, lately... Just gonna take some all around and just so now I'm gonna go ahead with the jewelry concealer and I'm just gonna put that a little tiny bit this concealer is fairly very light I bought the wrong shade honestly so I'm just gonna go ahead and just put that on the inner corner of my eye right over here just because I feel like my under eyes lately has been really really dark um, just gonna wait till that dries a little bit so it can get tacky and so I can get a full coverage. Let's 
let's take a quick moment i'm so proud of myself for this uh liner because let me tell you guys i think i'm gonna use tape from now on because i do not know how to do a liner for nothing in this world so i'm gonna be using the oldie goodie i'm using my laura mercier powder and we're just gonna dip 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 To contour my face, I'm going to be using this um, Matte Perfection Powder Foundation from the Sephora Collection. And this is in the shade 66 Mocha Spice. Alright, and I'm not going to leave that on for too long, um, just because I don't want to look too white. Next up, um, I'm going to wipe off this from my under eyes, and I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using this Morphe M448 brush, and we're just going to swipe this off the face, and then I'm going to use my Fenty powder. So next up, I'm going to be using my Fenty powder in the shade Honey, and I'm going to set my face a little bit. I'm not going to be using a lot, and I'm going to use the same brush I used and go over my nose, my upper lip, my nose right over here, and right over here on my forehead. Uh, like I said, I'm not using a lot of powder for this. Um, And I'm gonna go over a little bit right over here. And I'm gonna remove this right over here. Just because I don't want this to be too, too sharp. I'm gonna be taking this brush by Moda, and this is a crease brush. And I'm gonna be using my Hoola bronzer, which I've hit pan to, but this is like the perfect shade for me to contour my nose. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just contour this fat nose of mine be taking a Lexi mini angle brush and we're just gonna take the shade don't move gonna be using the KKW blush which is very graceful oh my gosh this blush is so freaking pretty guys like it's the perfect pink if i can open it and i'm just gonna apply that to the apples of my cheek mm. wow this blush is very pigmented Go ahead. And... 
and i really been loving a little blush on my nose a little bit of highlighter this is the laura geller um blush i mean highlighter and i'm just gonna really focus that just a little bit here on the high points of my cheek a little on my nose and a little on the bridge of my nose It just makes my nose look really, really thin. Or I'm so excited to finally use this lip liner. Um, and this lip liner is in the shade, I think it's Beauty Icon. So we're gonna go ahead and just line the lips really quick. Oh my god, this lip liner is so beautiful, guys. guys i think i have found my favorite lip liner like look so cute it matches my skin so perfect next up we're gonna be using the he's a mixer which is the lipstick and this is like the perfect note using the, the lip gloss and this is proud of you but I like how this look looks without um without any lip gloss but I'm a lip gloss girl personally but if you want to leave this look like this you're definitely you'll definitely look bomb I like the look of it like if you want it all matte definitely god so we're gonna go ahead and apply the lip gloss so that is it for today's video i hope you guys all enjoyed this video i really 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 really, really love this lamb um it's definitely like a better like you know i look cute like what you were saying <laughs> get me guys the enemy i'm very i'm like i look so snatched i feel like i'm kardashian like you know i hope you guys all enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe and also comment down below if you like this look and if you will be recreating it um so yeah see you guys in the next 